Hey guys. Um, your eyes do not deceive you. My hair looks blue. <laughs> it's not actually blue. This is a wig. Um, because as we all know, whenever I have blue in my hair, it does not come out. <laughs> I did have my hair this colour for a little while because I still have blue at the ends and I tried to even all my hair out. Um, but like I said, every time I bleach my hair, the blue comes through. So yeah, I, ma I did manage to colour correct it in the end um, after a really long process of putting a little bit of orange in my pink. So as much as I love this colour, I didn't dye it, <laughs> so I thought I'd just get a wig. Um, the wig that I bought was like a, a cheap and cheerful one from eBay. Um, it was £30, including postage. Um, it did say that it was a lace front. It wasn't a lace front. Um, I'll try and show you pictures of what they sent me, because I didn't actually take any before I started this, because I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out but I'm actually really happy with how it turned out and um, the last couple of times I've done this which has been a while now I haven't done this for a while I've just been sort of you know just risking it and dyeing my own hair but um, the last couple of times that I've done like got a cheap wig and done something to it it's actually turned out really well so I thought I just do like a tips and tricks video because um, I asked Shan like if she thought it would be helpful and useful to people especially to her because she does a lot of cosplay and makeup looks and she said it would be so that is why I'm doing it um, I'm in my bathroom <laughs> which is another weird thing um, mainly because uh, my neighbours are currently having a music war so apologies for the echo and any background noise that you can hear um, but it's ridiculous in my little nook, like it's even louder. So I was like, I'll just film in my bathroom. <laughs> yeah, they're both uh, blasting their music at the same time. One's uh, happy hardcore, I think, and the other one is trance music. So I apologize for the background noise, but yeah, that's why I'm in my bathroom. The first thing that I do when I get these cheaper wigs is I like to cut them. I don't know if I recorded the footage in this exact order, so if I haven't, it might chop and change. Sorry about that. Um, like I said, I was doing it in, in bits and pieces and I wasn't even sure if I was going to use it. But um, yeah, the first thing I do is I trim the wig um, because they're always too flat. They don't have layers in them, or if they do have layers, they're like, they start like near the bottom of the wig and it's like, no one's hair is like that. Um, and everyone has split ends, they just do. Um, so I tend to trim the wig, I tend to put in my layers that I like, because I like layers, I always been like that, probably because of my scene kid days, I don't know. So yeah, I like to trim the wig at the front, I think is where I start, I'm having to think back. I'm pretty sure that's where I start. So I cut like where my fringe would be and then I cut downwards with the scissors. Um, it is a difficult technique for a lot of people but I've been doing my own hair for so long. Um, and styling wigs and whatever else for so long that I'm used to it so forgive me if you can't really see what I'm doing <laughs> there but um, I take my uh, hairdressing scissors please use hairdressing scissors please do not use like normal scissors or kitchen scissors or you know craft scissors get yourself a pair of hairdressing scissors they're not very expensive you can probably find them on ebay i got mine from sally's a long time ago and i keep having to rebuy them because they do get blunt yeah hairdressing scissors i take the wig and i'll i like to wear it when i cut it as well i mean it's fine if you have a styling head but it's easier to do it on yourself because they're never the same size as your actual face and you can actually see how it's going to look um, and I trim downwards in a feathering motion as I'm doing it, so it's very quick, rapid movements as I'm cutting. It 
if you feel like you've made it too square when you've done it, if you try it, um, I would also suggest cutting lower than what you want to end up with because then if you bugger it up, it doesn't matter, you can cut a little bit shorter, but obviously, especially with a wig, and it's the same thing with your real hair, you can't add length <laughs> once you've cut it off. So start lower and practice the, the feathering down. So you aim this as downwards like this, and you kind of chop up and down as you're cutting, does that make sense? Um, and if, if you feel like you've cut too square, you can obviously take it and cut into it. Okay, that's a good method. Um, yeah, I cut the fringe and then I cut some layers into my hair, like I say, some of them on the very top layer I do cut quite short because, like I say, split ends is a thing, it just helps to make it a little bit more realistic. Um, and I cut a lot of layers in it because no one's hair is just dead straight and boring, like, your hair grows at different lengths, so the more, like, layers you put into it, the better. I've done that. I then, I'm pretty sure I did the roots. Now with this, I love to put a shadow root on all of my wigs because it just, I don't know, it helps to make them look more realistic. Um, you could buy a wig with a shadow root, but unfortunately nine times out of ten, especially the cheaper ones, the shadow root ends like here. And that's a bit much for me, I don't like that. I like a little bit of root, do you know what I mean? Like um, maybe an inch at most. Um, and I'll tell you why I do that, because it just helps. So with this wig, um, I'm pretty sure I filmed it, if I did off insert it here, but there's like a straight parting. No one really has a straight parting. And even when you do, it just looks kind of fake with a wig, like it's a dead giveaway. So what I tend to do is I will do the uh, shadow root where it is already so and I use um, eyeshadow for that because then if you change your mind or you want to change it up you can just wash it out and um, you know if you want it a bit more permanent you could try other things certain pens like marker pens might work um, but they can go a bit off colour I just find that eyeshadow is better. I mean, you could use both. That would be, definitely be a good technique to do a certain amount with a Sharpie or a permanent marker and then the rest with eyeshadow. The reason I use eyeshadow is because you can use a big fluffy brush and you can blend it down so it doesn't look so full stopped, you know, that's it. Do you know what I mean? It just makes it look a bit more natural. And I colour along it. And then I will, this is another really good tip. As I said, not many people's partings are dead straight. It is a dead giveaway. So I tend to take a piece from one side and cross it over and a piece from the other side and cross it over, as you can see. Um, I crisscross it a little bit. strands you don't have to go crazy because if you do you might see the weft underneath so just take a little bit from each side and cross them over and then um, they will kind of move around a little bit until later but it doesn't matter and then add your shadow root back in again if you can um, I always go back to that when I'm finished and just add it in um, as and when I need to and then I will go and I will straighten the wig some people probably don't like straight wigs, I do, I prefer them straight, like there is a tiny bit of like movement there but not a lot because I don't like my hair like that and I also think it's just a dead giveaway. Um, another reason I like to straighten the wig is because it takes out a lot of the shine. When straighten your wigs, obviously be very careful because they are synthetic and if they're cheap, they will be, well, they're plastic at the end of the day. So the more heat you apply, the more likely they are to melt, 
obviously. So make sure you've got it on a really low temperature. Um, I would test it on the bottom of the wig first. When you're straightening your wig, you want to use fast, swift motions. If you have to go over it again, you do. Just don't hover in one spot because if you do, it will melt it and it will go like shriveled and gross. And then I will take those bits that I've crossed over and if they're still being unruly, I will get there, I'll take the wig off and I'll use the hair straightener on the middle part. So I'll put it underneath the wig and over the top and I'll just press down carefully and move it along these parts and that just keeps it flat. So once I've straightened the wig, um, I will also powder it. Um, sometimes I powder it uh, while I'm doing the shadow route, it depends. I think I did do that this time. I mean, it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. You still get the same result and you'll probably still go in at the end when it's all done and add bits anyway. But um, yeah, so basically you just want normal talc. This stuff, talc, I won't show you the brand, probably saw it. But yeah, towel. And I just tip it out into a bowl. And I'll use a really thick, wide brush, like a makeup brush, or the little pad that comes with it. And I will just pad over the wig. And um, dusting over it is a lot easier, but it just gets rid of all the shine. Like you want a little bit of shine, but not crazy shine, because that is a dead giveaway. I'll add a bit more root where I need to, where I've crisscrossed, um, and I will add a bit more powder where I need to, and then, yeah, I do it until I'm happy with it, and that's basically it, and this was the end result. I like it, <laughs> you know, it's a weird colour, it's a really white blue, um, and I, like a real, you can't really, you can kind of see it, in the light it looks just white, but... It is blue, it's like an ice blue, and I really like it. And I loved having my hair this colour, but like I say, it doesn't come out. <laughs> and I struggle to do it any other colour, so I'd rather just have a wig for when I fancy having my hair this colour. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd do a video on how to make wigs look a lot less cheap, a lot less like wigs. Um, whether you use them for cosplay, or you want to wear them on just like a random day where you can't be bothered to do your hair. Um... But yeah, oh yeah, another reason why I do the shadow root as well that I missed off is because if you have a different colour hair underneath and it isn't a lace front, like this one wasn't, um, it said it was, it had like the tiniest bit of lace right there but then a dead straight part and it, it's not lace front. Um, it's just your normal synthetic wig. So yeah, if you want it to look a bit more realistic, the reason I use the black on the root is because then you can use the eyeshadow to fill in some of your own hair at the front um, around the wig. Obviously you don't need to have it fully pulled out um, but if you just have like a little bit poking through like I have uh, like some baby hairs here that I just have poking through because that also works when you want to tuck it behind your ear as well. Um, you'll just see the black of like the root. You can just like shade it in with your eyeshadow the same way you did with your, your wig if you just fill it in a little bit around there. Um, I did around the front as well, um, just so that if if it does move or whatever, like you're seeing root and not my own hair colour, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because um, I, I don't stick them down or anything, because obviously you can't with synthetic uh, non-lace front wigs. And yeah, it's just another trick that you can add to make it look a bit more natural. Um, yeah, and that's all I can think of. So that's the end of this video. <laughs> um, hopefully you found it useful. Um, let me know any other tips and tricks that you guys have. Let me know if you think I missed anything. That's what I tend to do. Um, so I just thought I'd stick it in a video. Hopefully it helps some people. And yeah, I will... Oh yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
um, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will not be about wigs. Bye!